Yes, in this video, we are going to see about the hashing and its technique. So, we'll see first what is meant by hashing, hash table, and hash functions in this video. So, here, what is hashing? It's a technique which uses less key comparison. It is mainly used for uh, this technique is mainly used for storing of data and retrieving of data in a fast manner. So it searches the element in uh, big O of n time in worst case and big O of 1 in the average and best case. So within uh, when you search, you will get it immediately. That's the meaning of this. So for that, we have to store the data in a table called hash table. So how we are going to, what data structure we are going to use for a hash table. It is a type of data structure which is used for storing and retrieving the data very quickly. So this stores the data in an associative manner. Insertion of data in a table is based on a key value. So for example, you can store the data in a unique value. Uh, for example, I want to store the uh, people who are living in a city. How I can show by way of their phone number. So you can use phone number uh, to access the individual element. As well as if you take an university, student roll number or enrollment number that can be used to, to store a unique data. So that's what key you you take a key value from their, their record, which is unique. And in that term, you will be storing the data and retrieving the data. That must be an unique key. Hence, every entry in the hash table is defined with some key. By using this key, data can be searched in the hash table by few key comparisons. And then searching time is dependent upon the size of the hash table. So depending upon the hash table, if you take a telephone number, if there are millions and millions of people in a particular city, then uh, that much uh, amount of storage is needed for a hash table because each individual persons can be accessed by their phone number means that much uh, table you need. The size of the table must be uh, big. So depends upon uh, searching time is depend upon the size of the hash table. Where are the where it is used in real life in universities as we have seen. Each student is assigned a unique role number that can be used to retrieve the information about them. In libraries, yes, there are so much of books in the library. How you can uniquely identify them by having some number attached with that. So each book is assigned a unique number that can be used to determine information about the book, such as its exact question, where it is there, who has taken last, to which user it has been issued, previously who are all the users who have accessed, all those informations can be recorded. And that can be obtained by a unique number, which is assigned to that book. In both these examples, students and books were hashed to a unique number. So in real world, in computational world, where it is used? Again, the previous one, university, all those things also, we use computers to store this data, as well as real uh, computational world. That is exactly how it is used, using associative array where key value pair is used to store and based on the key we access the data. So hash tables are commonly used to implement many types in memory tables. They are used to implement associative array. Then while well, database indexing, where we use the index for fast accessing of the data. Then catch, memory catch, where frequent items are stored and uh, uh, they can be accessed fast. So hash tables can be used to implement catches, that is axillary data table that are used to speed up the access of the data. So catches are mainly used to for speeding up of the memory where the frequent items are stored and often items are stored, often reference items are stored and which improves the speed of the execution. So object representation, several dynamic languages such as Perl, Python, JavaScript, Ruby, etc. They use hash tables to implement the object representative for a representative object itself. They use the hash tables. Then hash functions, they are used for generating a unique address and then accessing the data, which makes the algorithm execution fast. So let us take, um, so first, uh, so far I have, uh, I have given a little bit introduction about hashing, but actually what is hashing? That's what we are going to see. Imagine you are going to store 1000 employees records. 
so uh, based on their phone number you know that phone number is of 10 digits so what will be you doing say for example here let us stay start from this uh, let us give some numbers say for even if it starts from 999 so 10000 numbers 1000 employees are there 1000 numbers since it is a 10 digit number you definitely in order to access each individual array you will be needing uh, 10 power since it is a digit that is a um, numerical digit definitely you need 10 power n which is nothing but say if I have for example 10,000 uh, employees means you need uh, that much array space is there so here one can think of the following data structure to store the data if I want to store 1000 employees I can think about these data structures what are they array of phone numbers as we have said array of phone numbers so along with this phone number their data their record can be stored link list of phone number you can go for link list and then balanced binary search tree with phone numbers so you can use binary search tree for with phone numbers as keys then direct access table direct access table is what uh, uh, this is another concept we will be seeing shortly for arrays and link list the searching has to be done linearly which is costly as it takes a lot of time so to reach the 900th person if i have to reach the 900, then i have to search the pre i have to go through all the 899 compare each and every phone number to see whether it is matching the one which is on the hand then only i can reach the 900 data if we do a binary search if we do it here we can apply a binary search also for this searching of this uh, array but that may take still it takes o log n time again it depends upon the n if it is n is very large then uh, this will take again this will take some time provided after each insertion deletion but this can be applied binary search can be applied only if i am going to insert a new employee or a remove a new employee then again it has to be kept in a sorted order so uh, after inserting in a proper order only uh, this binary search is possible or else it will be no more a binary search it will become a linear probe so with balanced binary search tree also this takes o log n so with the direct access table which is nothing but if i am going to store 10000 uh, sorry 1000 employees and each employee data can be stored uniquely by its phone number means just imagine the phone number has 10 digits which means you have to store it from 1 to this because you have even uh, this will be up to this so which means this much if i am going to store a uh, say for example 9 uh, 999 then is one more number Hey, now I can store the next digit as nine 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 four zero zero one two three two and so on. So if I am going to store like this, then I need if I am going to uniquely identify, then I have to I must have the I must declare this direct access table to be from size. Uh, so for example here, um, this one to this much. Okay, starting from this. But actually, this is lot of space. If I am calculating the space from this up to this, it takes lot of space, which means uh, 10 power n. So, which is uh, which is very vast. So here, with the direct access, the array size is big. As one has to store in terms of phone number, if the number of digits of phone number is 10 digits. Then the size of the array will be m into 10 power n, where m is the size of the pointer to the record. So 10 power n means 10 power 10. n is the number of digits. So that much uh, memory space is needed if you are going to uniquely identify with its phone number. And entry in array is nil if phone number is not present. Suppose uh, that phone number is not present. If, uh, we are going to store only 1000 employee. But the memory space, what we needed for this is 10 power n, 10 power 10. So this much memory, starting from 1 to this. Then only you can uniquely identify. Say, for example, if you take this, uh, not only this 99, I may want to 
uh, it's, see, I'm showing it here. I may want to store some seven, the one which starts with seven also. So you may not know what is their phone number. That is why, but only thing what we know is their phone number consists of 10 digits. So it may have some, it may start from 6,000 also. Yes or no? So with uh, 10 digits. So we need that much of space. But a person with uh, whose number starts with 6,000, uh, maybe only five people may be there. Okay. So, yeah, but definitely this occupies space from six to seven. Okay. That is how I said it starts from zero, zero, one, two, then uh, one and then two, which starts from two, which starts from three and so on. So you will be having up to this much of uh, memory space you needed. In between, there may be data or may not be data. Say, for example, the one which starts with six is, there may be only five people. But imagine the remaining spaces. You have to give the space because in future, if the people with that particular phone number, uh, which starts with 6,000, they will find their place in that in session. For that, you have to declare that. Or else, uh, it will be uh, not possible for you to store. You have to declare like this only. So that's what here uh, this statement means. And in entry in array is nil. If phone number is not present, else the array entry stores pointer record corresponding to the phone number. So that phone number may not be there, but still you have to allocate the space for that. In this case, we need only 1000 employee data, but we have to declare an array of size this much. Around this much array space is wasted without any. So in this, since we are going to store only 1000, see if I subtract 1000 from this, I will get this value. So this much of array space is simply wasted without any use. So once declared, we cannot use it for other purpose also. But time complexity wise, this solution is the best among all. Because immediately we can get the data. Since it is stored on based on the uh, phone number, immediately it can sell because this is a direct access table, so random access. Immediately you can store that, you can retrieve the data as well as you can store. So we can do all operations in uh, big O of one time. This solution has many practical limitations. The first problem with this solution is extra space required. Whereas we need only 1000, whereas you have, you need this much of space to be uh, occupied. This uh, so extra space is required. So for example, if the phone number is entered, we need, yes, that's what we have seen already. Another problem is an integer in your programming language. Not only that, if you are going to store this as an integer, then you will be having, uh, depending upon the system, uh, the programming language, it may not allow to store this much of digits. So due to our limitations, that touch table, it cannot always be used. Okay, so solution is that, but it cannot, it is not that much feasible. So hashing is a solution that can be used in almost all such situations and performs extremely well compared to about data structures like array, linkless, balanced, BST in practice. With hashing, we get order of one search time on average under reasonable assumptions and O of N in worst case. 